Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to be testing out the Biter V-Box. And uh, we're going to be seeing how uh, the different damper rings, the different stiffnesses of the rings affect uh, the sound of the bow and how basically the stabilizer tunes to the bow. Because um, it's pretty common knowledge, you want a quiet bow. If your bow has an odd rattle to it, or it's very loud, odds are something's not tuned, or something's loose, things like that. Well, the same case for uh, your stabilizer system. Your stabilizer system should be pretty quiet. It shouldn't be vibrating all over the place. And uh, we're going to test that out with the Biter V-Box because this is a tunable dampener. You can actually change out uh, this center squishy ring here with other more squishy or less squishy damper rings. Uh, they're made out of rubber and there is uh, four in total. We're gonna be checking out all four and uh, letting you hear and see uh, what works best for my bow and I'll be giving you uh, some additional information on how some of the stiffer and some of the lighter rings work based on how many uh, ounces worth of weight you have on your stabilizer system. So. Let me get this all set up on my bow and let's start checking this out and testing it. So before we get started, a few things. Uh, the bow I'll be using for this will be the uh, MK Archery MKZ with the MK Zest limbs, Shibuya sights, and uh, they'll be actually being used on my Shrewd Stabilizer. Now right here you see three uh, Biter V-Boxes. Uh, these are all set at uh, the number three uh, ring, the number three uh, damper ring, so that indicates how stiff the dampener uh, ring is, and of course that is, that's about in the middle, because it goes one, three, five, and seven. I'm running about uh, four ounces or so, three to four ounces on all three uh, stabilizers, and for the testing I will be taking off these two side stabilizers so that we can solely focus on uh, the front stabilizer and the noise it makes. So let's go and take these off and get started. Uh, real quick before we get started with uh, the testing of the Biter V-Boxes, uh, two big things. Uh, the first one, I was not sponsored by Biter in any way and um, if you enjoy these videos consider subscribing and uh, checking out uh, Short Shot Archery products at Lancaster Archery or online at shortshotarchery.org. They help uh, fund some of this stuff. Uh, number two, uh, any clips you see of me shooting, if there's like a, a jump between me going to shoot and me actually shooting, that was because uh, by not having side stabilizers, I was a little wobbly in my shot, so I wanted to make sure that we got uh, the best uh, data possible for this. In some instances you see me go up to shoot and then it clips and then it's me drawing back. That is two different shots. On some of these I took multiple shots with the same dampener installed in order to get a good shot out of the bow. Uh, my mistake was that I took off the side stabilizers and that caused the bow to rock a bit more than I was used to and some of the shots were a little bit sloppy. So in order to get uh, you know, good consistent sound where, you know, it wasn't my mistake in shooting the bow. I took a couple shots on some of these clips to get one that sounded, you know, correct. How it would sound if I had three of those installed on the bow. Um, you know, maybe next time if I do more uh, tests on dampeners, maybe I'll just do all three. I was trying to make it easy by doing just the front stabilizer, but in hindsight now, editing this in front of me, um, it was probably a better idea to run three of the same dampener on the bow. But I just want to put that in there. Uh, all the shots you see are with the dampener. There's no games being played with that. So uh, now let's continue on to uh, me actually testing them. Now we're going to test uh, the Fighter V-Box with a number one uh, damper ring. This is very squishy. It is the softest that you can go, and we're gonna listen to uh, the the effect of having a, an extremely soft ring with about uh, three to four ounces worth of weight on the end here. 
we're gonna see what that sounds like. So uh, let's go. All right, uh, much louder, and hopefully you could hear you could hear that vibration. Now, as we work our way up to heavier or I guess denser rubbers that are meant for much uh, heavier stabilizer weights in order to make the dampening effective, um, you will hear the sound increase, or at least we should hear the sound increase. Now, of course, uh, this stabilizer with its weights is set up for uh, the number three damper ring with the biter V-Box, and uh, that should be uh, the quietest. All right, here is uh, the number three biter V-Box. Uh, this one I have tuned to this bow with uh, the weight I have on this end uh, stabilizer here. So this should be the quietest of the bunch, but uh, let's find out. There we go. That one was quieter than uh, the number one. Now again, uh, you can get the number one to be quieter. You just have to run uh, less weight on your dampener because it's, it's, a, it's a matter of getting the dampener to dampen uh, efficiently and effectively. So if you run a lot of weight, you need a heavier, a denser rubber in your dampener so that way it can take more vibration out of the bow but you can't run a very heavy, dense dampener on a bow that has no weight because then it just doesn't, it doesn't move. In a way, it's kind of like tuning an arrow with your plunger button, in a, in a sense, um, but instead you're doing it, doing it with your stabilizer system. At the end of the day, you want it to be the quietest it can be because then it's taking out the most vibration possible from your setup. Now we have the Biter V-Box installed with the f number five uh, damper ring. And this is going to be stiffer than what this setup is tuned for. So it should be louder. Let's check it out. Yes, as you can hear, that was definitely louder. Now, if I wanted this to tune, I would have to add on probably about four ounces worth of weight onto uh, this bow. And I'd probably want to distribute that a little more evenly between the front of the V-Box and the back of the V-Box. And this would then get quieter. Uh, now let's continue on to the next uh, damper ring and see how much louder uh, that gets. Uh, also, if you noticed, um, depending on, on how well the video comes out, uh, you can see a lot more vibration running through me and the bow as I get to uh, stiffer and stiffer uh, dampening rings. And uh, that's just the effect of the efficiency of the dampening being decreased and it just it just it not absorbing uh, the vibrations that are being caused by uh, the bow shooting. So let's continue on to number seven. All right, time for lucky number seven as they call it, I guess. Uh, damper ring uh, number seven. This is the stiffest uh, dampening ring that you can put in your Biter V-Box. Uh, this is definitely designed for uh, compound shooters or a recurve that really likes a ton of weight. Uh, you're probably looking at like the 10 plus, 12 plus ounce range for this to tune uh, to your uh, stabilizer system. Of course, yes, it's going to vary based on the, the stabilizer rod you're using and, and the weights and things like that. But uh, this should be very loud and there should be a lot of vibration. Uh, let's go find out. <laughs> Yep. 
yes, that was that was quite loud, but more so uh, the vibration, uh, a ton of vibration and feedback uh, from just the shot itself. Not not the best feedback you want either because it's very, you know, it's very wild. It's full of vibration because well this. Number seven dampener is just too stiff for three to four ounces. So after all that testing, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, <laughs> the number three uh, damper ring is definitely best for the weight setup and stabilizer setup that I have. Of course, it's going to differ per archer, but the cool thing is Biter provides you with all the dampener rings. They provide you with the one, three, five, and seven uh, stiffness rings so that you can go and customize it to uh, your setup uh, the best uh, you can. So uh, with that I'm actually going to shoot this bow with uh, all of the stabilizers on it uh, both sides and the front with the number three um, damper ring in all three of these V-boxes and uh, let's hear how quiet this riser is or this bow in general. All right, look at that. So <laughs> that was really quiet. And uh, as you can tell, uh, for this bow, this is probably the best setup for me. Now, you can go even further. If you have three biter V-boxes, you can play with making the back end of your bow or the front end of your bow uh, stiffer. Maybe you want to run a three up front, but maybe fives in the back or vice versa. Uh, you can really play around with it. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, me testing out uh, the Biter V-Boxes. Now, if you want some additional information, I have links uh, to Biter's website, also links to get pricing on the Biter V-Box if you're curious on how much it costs in your area. Uh, besides that, there'll also be links to a slow motion video that Biter did of these V-Boxes in action. Uh, it's something that I don't have the capability of doing here at Shore Shot Archery yet. And I think they do a really great job showing you how this V-Box functions when it's being shot. You know, when your bow is shooting and all that vibration is running through your bow, how it reacts to the weights you have on the front of it and on the end of it and how it's taking that vibration out of your shot. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, happy shooting.